So let's start here by um, editing our feet a little bit. I'm feeling that they're a bit off um, versus what I wanted. So we're going to go ahead and click here and ring. All right, and let's also grab all of these. Not that, not that. All right, let's go ahead and connect this with one segment. Let's slide it up uh, right to around here. Okay. And then let's go ahead and select these vertices here. And we're just going to go ahead and bring these outward, I think. Yes, so left hand viewport here. Just bring them out until they are sort of flush with the rest of that surface there. Grab these and just drag them just like that. Okay. So what we're trying to do there is create like a little um, flat spot, I guess, of this area. Okay. Let's just refine this a bit more. Drag that back a bit. And maybe grab these. Just drag them out, something like that. So we can grab that line, chamfer, and we're just going to give it a 0.25 chamfer and see what that does for us. All right, there we go. So we just kind of get like a little flat spot, and then it goes into the, uh, the curve of the toe there. All right, excellent. So let's uh, just delete this one. Go here, and we're just going to go in the front view and simply shift drag it over. Okay. Something like that ought to do nicely. Maybe a little bit more. All right, perfect. Now, um, this piece over here is going to need something we can actually go into. So we're going to go ahead and create a little uh, cylinder right here, just using auto grid. Something like this should be fine. And um, let's convert that to an editable poly. Delete the back. And let's shrink in the front here a little bit. Something like this. And let's do some creative beveling. So we're gonna sort of come out, maybe out a bit more. Okay, make like a little injection port in here. Alright, there we go. That ought to do nicely. Alright, now let's go ahead and place this sort of about where it needs to be. So maybe rotate it like this. And you can put it inside somewhere here. Okay. Something like that where it just is inside kind of coming out a little bit. And let's go ahead and grab our line here and play with our vertices until we sort of get it to match up. And right about there seems to be the ticket. All right, there we go. So now it just that, that has something to go into there. And if we just um, turbo smooth that, you can see we have some nice little, little socket uh, that it can plug into. All right, and we'll just go ahead and make that gray. All right, and let's just delete this line over here. And we're going to go ahead and just copy this entire thing right over there and mirror it. Okay, and let's actually uh, group it first, then copy, and then do your mirror. That way it'll sort of stay together. 
go into your front view here and let's just drag it into where it's about supposed to be. Okay, a little more. Right about there seems perfect. Alright, very nice. And then this bit I think is gonna come down, so you can't actually see it. I don't really know what they were thinking uh, in this blueprint here, but let's actually ungroup this. But this clearly needs to go over here-ish. And there's got to be some point here. And yeah, there we go. And let's um, just to make it a little more realistic, let's go ahead and grab this socket here. All right, and put it sort of over here. Okay. Something like this. Just so you think it actually has a couple places to plug in there and doesn't just look odd. And I do want to do a couple edits here. So let's grab this line here. Loop it, chamfer, and give it a chamfer of about 0.2. Okay. And then this loop, same thing. And let's go ahead and grab this, loop it, and give it a similar deal. All right, that'll just help uh, sharpen the edges up of our thing just a little bit. All right, then we're going to bring this over here. Some. No, too much, I guess. All right, that ought to work. And then I guess we'll do a similar deal with this one over here. So let's grab uh, that edge, that edge, and that edge. Loop, chamfer with 0.25. All right, and there we go. Now we just have a nice harder uh, edge right there. All right, excellent. So let's. Um, group these again all right and front viewport shift drag them and orient them with the mirror tool and bring them back into place just like that excellent so there we go now we got a little power droid sort of with uh, happy feet all right so I'm trying to think of what else we need to have here. I can't really think of too much, although I think I want to have a panel on the back of our droid here. Just a big panel right here on the bottom. So let's go to the front viewport, create a box, and we're just going to sort of create one over here. Something like that ought to do. Convert it to an editable poly, and let's just move it sort of into position here. All right, and maybe drag it up there, and that's fine. Press R. Let's just scale it inward a bit. Something like that ought to do fine. Perspective. Let's go ahead and delete that edge there. And this is our usual panel making technique here. We're just gonna grab those edges, chamfer. Uh, one is probably fine since this is a pretty big panel here. Let's just grab it over here, mirror it. Well, you don't have to really, yeah, you do have to mirror it. Okay. Mirror it on the Y and simply slip it into place here. So we're just going to affect pivot only, center it to the object there. And go ahead and turn angle snap off. Let's just sync that in to about where it should be. Something like that should be perfect. All right. Excellent. Uh, 
so do I want any other little details here? I actually think that should be good. So with that, um, we're going to conclude the modeling of our little power droid here. I hope you guys have enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.